Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an awesome video for you guys. Today I'm collabing with the beautiful Melissa Q here on YouTube. Her and I were throwing back and forth ideas of what to do, what we could collab with. We want to do something fun and she came up with the idea of let's do the if I could only purchase 10 makeup items, what would their 10 makeup items be? So I have them on my face as I speak about them, I will share with you guys my application so you guys can see how I applied them today. But if you do not know who Melissa is, you really should check her out. She has flawless skin with no makeup on. Like this woman does not need an ounce of makeup on her face. She is absolutely beautiful. My goodness gracious. Every time I see her without makeup, I'm like, oh, why do you put on makeup? You're so beautiful. She has such a beautiful array of videos on her channel. She does project panning. She does empties, which put my empties to shame. When I look at my stuff that I use up, oh, she uses up a ton of stuff. She has a great playlist on how to take care of your hair, products to use for your hair, great products for your hair. She does unboxings when it comes to subscription boxes. She does everything on her channel. She's so much fun to watch. She has a great personality. She keeps me entertained. I'm never bored with her. I really love watching her. So if you don't know who I'm talking about, I will link her channel down below as well as this video. So you definitely should check her out. So obviously you are here to see the 10 products that I've chosen. This was super tough for me. I'm not even going to kid you. I think it took me a good week and a half to write down a list. And I wrote this list three different times because I can only put 10 things and I really had to think about what 10 things would I purchase first um, just to get by before I could get anything else. So let's get right into it. Now, Melissa and I decided that money was not an issue during our 10 picking of products because honestly, if money was an issue, I would have picked a little bit differently. If you guys want me to do that video, let me know. But this was unlimited budget. Pick the top 10 things that you would purchase without even considering the cost. So the first thing would be primer, but for my instance, I don't have any full size primer in my collection. I've been going through my deluxe sample sizes and I haven't found any that I am wanting to invest my money on. So I am skipping completely primer because I wouldn't even know what to buy considering I don't know what I like yet. And I've tried a lot and I still haven't found one that I love. So I'm going to jump on to foundation and the foundation I'm actually going to choose that I would absolutely buy in a heartbeat is my It Cosmetics CC Cream. And they come in different colors, but this is the one that I'm wearing. I love the finish of this one specifically. It looks so natural on my skin. I get so many compliments every time I wear this. What am I wearing? It looks so natural. It looks like I have no foundation on. It just looks beautiful on my skin. And the fact that it has SPF 50 is a bonus on it. So this is what I am wearing obviously today. I actually wore this, I've been wearing it nonstop for a few months just to try to use this one specifically up, but I absolutely am gonna repurchase this. I love it. Hands down, my very first one I would purchase in a heartbeat. Now next thing on the item of face products for me is concealer. I have an issue with concealers either creasing on me. I have natural creases under my eyes. It is hereditary. Every single person in my family has it, including my three kids. They all inherited that one line under your eyes that just happens to be there. So I am actually choosing MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This does not ever let me down. I don't have to use a corrector with this. I can uh, use the smallest amount and actually get a lot of coverage under my eyes. It lasts all day, doesn't crease, doesn't fade, doesn't make me look old and crusty, and I have dry under eyes, oily face, and this never dries on my under eyes. So in a heartbeat, I would purchase the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Next on my list is setting my whole entire face. And this was very hard for me, but I'm going to be honest with you guys because this is something I've been using for close to two years now and I haven't even, uh, it doesn't even look like I've used much of it, but I have. And this is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. This has since been discontinued in the United States. I actually purchased a backup when I found out that they were discontinued at Target, but I can find this on Amazon. This was under $5 and I love the finish of this powder. This is all that I ever use under my eyes and I've only been using this under my eyes for about two years now. I steered away a little bit away from it, tried something else. I went back to it and I love it. 
This is always what I'm using under my eyes. I can also set my face with this and it just looks flawless. It is so finely milled. It is such a beautiful finish. It brightens just enough in the summer and the winter time where I don't have to worry about it. This is one of my favorite powders. Absolutely love it. I would recommend it if you're wanting something inexpensive. Amazon will probably have this in stock because it is such a beautiful powder. Now let's go on to brows. This is something that I've tried recently in my collection, but I would absolutely pick this one over a lot of them that I have tried. And it is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Now the reason why I'm choosing this is because as you guys can see from the footage, I have very full brows. I don't need a lot. I don't need something that's going to give me a lot of pigmentation, a lot of coverage. And I do hear the main complaint about this pencil is the fact that it goes quickly. It, it, it runs out quickly. But for me, because I have full brows, I don't need to fill in a lot. So this is lasting me longer than most people. So I would use this. I love the finish of it. I love how it's in my brows. It looks super natural. Um, I don't need to hit, uh, press so hard on my brows to really make it show. It gives me those really nice uh, pencil flicks, I guess is what you call it. So this is something that I would purchase and I actually have this in taupe and this is what I have in my brows and it works perfectly fine and I absolutely love it. Now with that said, my brows are full and I always have to trim them on a weekly basis because if not, they will be a wild mess. So I need something that's going to hold them, hold them well. I don't have to worry about it. To me, this doesn't feel crusty because I don't put a lot of product in my brows, but I would definitely pick the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I love this. I do have a drugstore one, but I haven't used that one in a while, and I've been using this basically the whole entire year. The 2018, this is what I've been using, and I love it. It doesn't make my brows feel crusty because I don't use a lot, but it holds them where I don't have to ever worry about them. I have small children. They're always whacking my face, and I never see my brows any all over the place like other brow gels do. So this is definitely the next product that I would absolutely pick. Okay, so we have five down, five more to go. The next product that I would choose is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Uh, this for bronzer is my favorite. I can use this in the winter, I can use this in the summer, I can use this as a shadow, as you guys will see in a future clip. I use this as my shadow. I love this bronzer. I have pan an actual one just like this and it takes forever for this. This will last forever. It is worth the money because it's an investment. It's going to last a long time. You don't um, have to buy one anytime soon. It's not super powdery. I don't feel like it's too warm tone, too cool tone. It's just perfect. So I would absolutely buy this. I would even buy the mini size because that will last you forever. Now for a blush. Blush was very hard for me, but as I'm thinking about it and the different multitasking ways of using my blush, this is the one that I would choose and that is the Milani Luminoso. The reason why I chose this is because it is a, it's not a matte uh, blush, it's buildable, it can be super soft on your skin but you can build it up and it has a sheen so I can skip highlighter because it gives me a nice sheen to my cheeks. I can wear this all year round and it looks stunning. I can pack it more in the summer when I'm deeper and I can lighten the the application. It blends like a dream. It lasts all day with my oily skin and I can actually use this as eyeshadow if I want to. So this would be my next pick. Now for the eyes, I cannot live without a primer. I have to have a primer. My eyelids just break everything down and I need something. And this is the only primer that has ever worked for me 100% all year round. My Milani eyeshadow primer. I would absolutely purchase this in a heartbeat if this would ever get lost, used up, taken from me. You know that I would buy this in a heartbeat. And I hope they never discontinue this because this is by far the most inexpensive primer that I have found that does work on oily eyelids. I can trust this 100% and never worry that this is going to fail me in any way, shape, or form. Now for mascara. Mascara is hard for me again because I haven't purchased a new brand new full size mascara myself in years because I have so many deluxe sample size that I don't need to purchase a full size but there's one that always gets me and I love the way it looks and that is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I know there is a drugstore dupe to this but I personally have never used it. I've only used this one and I love it. I love that it makes my eyelashes look jet black. It keeps them up beautifully. It makes them look full. I don't have to go with too many coats and make them look 
really stand outish. It really makes my eyes open up and pop. I just love this mascara. I love the wand. I love the way that it doesn't make my eyes look like raccoons. It doesn't smear. It doesn't fade. It just looks beautiful on my eyes. So this is something that I trust and I love and I would purchase this one. Now last but not least is a lip product. Lip products were very hard for me. But if I, I love color. I absolutely love color. And that's why this this video was very challenging for me because I, I really couldn't pick too much color because I would just go over the past 10, 10 products that I could pick. So for color, I went with something that worked for me all year round, and that is Bite Beauty Honeycomb. And the reason I chose this is because this is the perfect nude for me. It works when I have a tan. It works when I am at my palest. Not all nudes work for me all year round. I either have to pick a nude for my winter shade of skin tone or my nude for when I'm, I'm tan in the summer. And this one has worked for me when I am at my palest and at my darkest. And that's why I would choose this one because I know I can use it all year round and not have to worry about, well, I can only use it during these months or I can't use it during that month. And it'll work with any eye look that I would do. It would work with everyday looks. It would work with natural looks like I'm wearing today. So this is something that I love and I have enjoyed. And I really, I, I, I'm so happy that I have found this because I never was going to try this out and I did and I really really love it so that's it guys those are my 10 products it was super hard and that's what you see on my face today I love how it turned out it's very natural but I could still build it up I can multitask some of these shades I can use this as a blush I can use this as an eyeshadow same thing with my bronzer I can use different things different ways where I don't feel like I am stuck to these tens this concealer can be used as a foundation as well. So I, I made myself pick products that I absolutely would love, but I can also multitask. So I this what that's why it was so hard for me to pick. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link and list all these products down in the description box. If you have not checked out Melissa's channel, please check her out. You guys are going to love her. Seriously, you guys are going to love her. I love her personality. I really do. She's just so fun to watch, so relaxing. I know that I will always find great contact on content on her channel. So again, I will link and list down uh, all her information down in the description box. You guys can check her out. Thank you again for watching. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.